2017 GMC Acadia with a 2.4 and it's a 2017 going to do the uh, camshaft uh, actuators keeps flipping the code I changed the oil numerous times put some cleaner in it and tried all that keeps coming back and running rough all right so what you need to do is remove your upper intake uh, air cleaner box air cleaner assembly what you want to do is pull this hose off it's a breather it pops right out loosen up your eight millimeter hose clamp that goes to the throttle body down here you can go straight in the front remove the eight millimeter screws that go in the air cleaner box for the filter there's four of them in the corners take off your mass airflow sensor connector pull the green up no Red up, squeeze it, pull it off. And on the back of this housing, there's two more that go into the nipples. Goes in the little rubber grommets, pull them up. Pull this off the throttle body. Got it all loose, remove it. Pull your air filter out, make sure it's clean and good. Remove the upper engine cover. Take the oil, filter, oil cap off. Set it aside so you don't lose it. And this is held on by these little st studs sticking up. It goes in the rubber grommets. One here, one there, and one there. There's three of them. And then put your cap back on so you don't lose it or any debris fall down in there. Okay, the actuators are right here. Front one's your intake, the back one's your exhaust. You got to uh, lift up these little white retainers for the connectors, get them up. Then you can squeeze the terminal, the connector, squeeze it and you can lift the terminals right off. Okay, and those are held in with two 10 millimeter bolts, one bolt there and one here. 10 millimeter head bolts. Make sure you clean it off and blow it off with some cleaner and then blow it so you don't do debris falls down in there okay you blew all the dirt out of there and you want to remove the connectors remember i told you to pick up on the white piece take a screwdriver blade in there and twist it and it picks it up <clears throat> and you can push on a little tab and pull them off and there's two 10 a 10 millimeter bolt for each solenoid actuator one here and one there once you got them bolts out, get a little uh, penetrant or some brake clean, spray it down in there, let it soak a little bit and kind of twist your, uh, your actuators a little bit, twist them and then pry them up and they'll come right up. Just wiggle mesh coming out and here they are. See if they're full of dirt, mm, pretty clean. And some dirt there. But now that little specks go inside those little screens and clog up your solenoids. <clears throat> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There they are. Dripping. Okay. I'm going to replace them because I had the code a couple times and I cleared it. I changed the oil, okay, and this time I put a quarter trans fluid in it and let it run. So now I'm going to clean out the passages with some uh, clean oil, and then I'm going to change the oil and filter, and I'm going to put some new uh, actuators in there. Okay, these are the new ones. The intake says intake on it, and it goes to the front. And the exhaust says exhaust on it and goes to the rear. So pour some fresh oil on them and then stick them in there and push them in so they bottom out. And then you can start your bolts hand by hand, run them down and then tighten them up. Just snug them up. They don't need to be really tight, you know. Maybe uh, like 15 foot pounds. Okay. So. I already changed my oil, so I'm going to dump some oil on them with some fresh oil and push them in.
Got some fresh oil on them. I'm going to push them in there. Okay. Before you push them in there, you should have dumped some fresh oil down in there. And uh, that way it rinses it off. And do that before you change your oil. So that oil and that dirt hopefully drains through the pan. Okay, so now I'm going to start my bolts, snug them up, and tighten them. Okay, now it's time to plug them back in. And they will not, connectors will not switch. So one fits one and one fits the other, and that's it. Okay. All right, so that's in there. Those are tight. Got your oil back in it. So now you need to do is put your engine cover on. Got your engine cover on. Your, your three points pushed in. Cap back on. Now it's time for your uh, upper air, air intake for the air cleaner. Make sure you push it on the throttle body without rolling the rubber gasket. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna push it on the throttle body first. I'm gonna come over here and line it this, make sure this is nice and square. And then push it on those two rubber grommets in the back. And then you can push the filter upper housing on there and line up your four screws, tighten up your four screws, tighten up your clamp on the throttle body and your breather tube, push that back in. Plug your mass airflow back in. It's all set. And the next thing you do is start it, let it run, and shut it off. Double check your oil. And then now uh, you want to go inside and clear your codes and then drive it. Shut it off, start it back up, and drive it again and see if the code comes back. If it's all good, and then you're all set. And that's how you replace your. Uh, intake and exhaust cam actuators if i helped you with this video hopefully you can help me by subscribing and i appreciate it thank you